to solve this problem in less than three minutes, this is what you need to do. First of all, they say if 5 to the power of x plus 2y equal to 5. Notice that this is an equal sign separating two quantities. And you notice that the base here, we're having common base, 5, 5. Here, does not have the power? But it has the power. The power is 1. So what do we need to do? It's simple. Whenever you notice that we have common base when you're equating two quantities and they have common base, equate the power. Ignore the base, equate the power. So you have x plus 2y equal to 1. And you can look for two unknown at the same time. It's possible to find two unknown. So just make this equation 1. Let's focus on the second one. We're having this one to be 4 to the power of x plus 3y equal to 1. I'm concerned about the base. So I need to make sure that we're having a common base with this one. So the first thing I need to do, I will consider a rule that says anything to the power of 0 is 1. Anything, any number. So I can think of 4 because here is 4. I'll make sure the base here will be 4. So I have 4 to the power of x plus 3y equal to 4 to the power of 0. Notice that when the base are the same, consider the power. So we have, you have to be x plus 3y equal to 0, equation 2. I've gotten a pair of simultaneous equations. I need to apply any method. It could be elimination method. How do I eliminate and subtract equation 1 from equation 2, equation 2 from equation 1? Anyways, works. So x minus x will give us 0. So 2y minus 3y will give us minus y equal to 1 minus 0 will give us 1. And we don't need to have a negative sign on the variable side. So what do you need to do? Multiply both sides by negative 1. Multiply both sides by negative 1. Negative, negative will be positive. Leaving us with 1 times y, which is y, equal to 1 times negative 1, give us negative 1. This is the value of y. Then we also need the value of x so that we can be able to get what we are asked to find. How do we get the value of x? Substitute this value into equation 1 or equation 2. Any of them works. If you choose equation 1, for instance, so you have equation 1 to be x plus 2. In place of y, you have negative 1 equal to this one. So what do we need to do? 2 multiplied by minus 1 will give us negative 2. So we have x negative 2 equal to 1. We are looking for x. We need to add 2 to both sides of the equation by isolating that negative 2. This and this will be 0. Therefore, x will be equal to 1 plus 2. That will give us 3. I've gotten the value of x and y. So let's plug this into this particular uh, expression. So we're having 3 into, in place of x, we just have 3 plus in place of y, we just have negative 1. You already know that plus minus is minus. 3 minus 1 will be 2. So we have 3 to the power of 2. And 3 to the power of 2 will be 3 times 3, which is 9. Which option best fit? Put in the comment section. I hope you like this video. Share, like, subscribe.